Warning, the following video is rated RT and contains scenes of real men reviewing collectibles. Brad Titan cannot be held responsible for any viewers who act in the same manner or will not be liable for viewers spending their money after screening these reviews. I recommend they like, comment, subscribe and share. The following video contains British accents where available. Yo, yo, peeps, uh, Rad Titan here, Gerald Man on the, on the mic. AT on the uh, camera there. There's his hey, hey. ET fan. Oh, no. Nice. Okay, so um, exciting times. Again, we've uh, received um, a couple of packages from um, Imaginarium Art. Uh, really quite impressive. We just got a couple of bits out of the box, and we're going to be reviewing today the Iron Man Heartbreaker one to one scale helmet. So, proper full size scale helmet, helmet, Iron Man Mark 17. Um, really, it's quite big actually. I was quite surprised at just the size of it. When I, I mean, I, you definitely, you can't put it on your head, but if you could, it would fit. Well, there was, there was some stupid comments. There was someone who posted it on the uh, Rad Titan group. Yeah. And someone underneath put, it's a shame you can't wear it. And then someone said, well, you know, you've got the life size bust. Yeah, shame you can't wear that fucking armor either. You know? <laughs> why don't you? Why don't you comment about the side show bust? You know, yeah, me. yeah. Well, this is it. So we got it out of the box. These are the pieces it comes with. Um, so, so this is what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? So we don't um, we don't have an art box because it's uh, this is a sample. Yeah, this is a, um, it's an artist proof. So, so basically, this is the uh, you get the nameplate. And there, just turn it around. Um, you get like a uh, authenticity hologram on the back, which says sample on it. Which says sample, and it says uh, imaginary remark. Oh, nice that make out on the uh, on the camera there. Um, you get the power cable. We'll talk about that in a minute because there is an issue with the uh, power cables if you're in um, well, definitely in the UK. So we'll get onto that. Here's the piece that goes on the back, which looks like um, uh, kind of like a, a wire ribbon. No, it's um, a shoehorn, isn't it? <laughs> shoe you, you put your shoes on. You know, I take this and. You just stick it in here, you put your, you put your shoe on. Uh, you can see my Marvel slippers there. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, this goes in the back um, from the base to the helmet to look like a uh, power ribbon uh, yeah. wire there. Uh, and then you've got the base. Again, we'll go into this in more detail. Yeah. Uh, you've got all the bolts on here. Uh, one of these bolts is actually the um, power. To, pretty, uh, yeah, pretty yeah. cool when you spin and it then, around. You um, see that? All the little bits around the sides. Really lovely yeah. gloss on it as well. And that's what it hides. So that's what... So, the uh, yeah, the that's the button there. Is it? Oh, that's wicked. <laughs> that's really good. So you got that, and then you got these uh, headphone jack uh, power um, power connectors, and uh, then you got the um, helmet there. So what we'll do is we'll um, we'll pull this together, and um, we can try and do it on camera, but uh, <laughs> we may need to edit it out. But we'll, we'll see how it goes to, how it goes together. All right. If not, we'll just cut it, right? We'll just edit it and make it look like we know, we know how to do it. I'll hold the camera, bro. Damn, damn it. Okay, well... Go on, you come to that side, I'll be here. So the um, the difficult part I found is um, to actually get the helmet onto here. It's a bit scuffed, isn't it? But it's all going to be hidden away. But um, the difficult part is actually get the helmet on. It's actually quite... A, it's, that's not oh, too it's heavy because it is fiberglass. We, uh, the base as well. That's really heavy. The bases are heavy, but then we've got this one signed. So this Excellent. is a uh, media copy, uh, yeah. Danny Lim. Yeah. So uh, the owner of Imaginary Mart has signed up for us. Nice. Cheers, yeah. Danny, my bow. Thank you very much, man. Good guy. Good guy. Show the underneath that, because that's got that nice. Oh, yeah. What's that? Really what do we call this? I always mess this up. What's it called? It like um, felt. Or... Felt, yes. But this is made velvet. of fiber. This, this is this one's velvet. velvet. Yeah, velvet. that's like um, it's made of fiberglass. Yeah, this is fiberglass. But then you have to kind of uh, line this up, and this may take me about fifty attempts because I remember the first time I did try and do this. Uh, we may need to cut into this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying this immensely. Oh, I bet you are. It's like that first night with a woman that you had. Remember? Guide me. Guide me. <laughs> you got it? Uh, no. Put that tip there down, I think. There you go. Nicely um, done. That didn't take you the, too long. Um, the best way to do this is you actually tilt the, um, the head forward, so you tilt the chin 
down towards the uh, base. The base more, mm. and then it should slide in nicely. Um, Spin it. So we've got that on there. And what we do then? Great paint is job on that, bro. We will um, put this. This this goes in there. It's got like a little uh, little piece there. Mail part. And then yeah, mail that goes in there. Uh, slides in and then that will just slide in that like that so that's just to like um, emulate the kind of you know power cable going from there like a power ribbon yeah um, and then you get these uh, name plates and you, that goes in like that and it just slides in there quite nicely uh, and you've got the power uh, we won't show the uh, power yet so that just goes into the back we'll just go through we we'll swap over and then uh, we'll go through the actual helmet now yeah so um where are you going? This way. Pushing me out of the way? Better luck, better luck. Right, so uh, we'll start with the base. Start right way down. And you've got the nameplate there. Oh, sorry, a bit shaky there. Um, nameplate just slips in there. Yeah. Um, it's got same. a female part, so it, it won't move. It's pretty, it's pretty sturdy. Yep. If you turn it, it's not going anywhere. So, uh, yep. And then, as I say, you've got uh, the detailing on the base. Uh, you've got kind of like the, uh, the, sort of the mech. Uh, yeah, like a mechanical neck, isn't it? It looks really yep. good. So, uh, you've got all that going on. Um, this one's actually been on, on display uh, quite a few, I think there are a few shows, so there, there might good, be a few knocks on there. But Good metallic paints though on this, especially on the red and the gold, you can see in the light, it's quite a lovely metallic sort of look to it, and on the silver as well. You know, on, the, on the website pictures, it looks awfully matte, this, yeah. but in person, it has got a very nice metallic sheen to it, so it's when beautifully I, done. When I spoke to Danny Lim about it, he actually said that, he said to me um, when I last spoke, he said, have you taken any pictures yet? Yeah. I said, no, not yet. I've, told, I've taken a few. And he goes, oh, um, it apparently took them a long time to get the pictures right because of the because the paint is so uh, gloss. Yeah, um, you can't capture it. It's really you? hard to, to take Probably pictures. Probably you see it in here, man. It's like, yeah. a, it's it's like, like a car. It's like a car, yeah. It's beautifully done. It's massive. It's, it's so, I mean, you can see here that I'll, uh, I'll get in shot. But you can see, look, look at this. Well, it's supposed look to be how big that is. It's massive, isn't it? Well, the heart, we got the um, the Mark Thirty Nine, and um, the we'll do a comparison of them. And uh, basically, this one's bigger. It is bigger, but then again, isn't the heartbreak breaker bigger? It's quite chunky. Oh, it's chunky old armor, isn't it? But it's really nice, man. It's, it's beautifully it's beautifully done. It really is. I really like the aggressiveness of it. It's got some oh, yeah. aggressive features, isn't it? On the face. Oh yeah, it looks it looks proper pissed off. It though. looks mean. It does look pissed, doesn't it? I, I oh, thought yeah. so. They're very nice, though. Really nice. But I mean, uh, what we do there is, uh, do, you to, do you want to just plug that power cable in? Yeah, sure. I'm your Huckleberry. So um, down, down by your foot, you've got the uh, UK adapter. I've just got to talk about this quickly. So then I tried to, um, we, we received two chargers, one for the um, 17 and one for the 39. Yeah. One of them came with um, like a USB yeah. uh, charger. Mm -hmm. What I tried to do was to actually use um, a UK uh, USB charger and it wouldn't work um, and then I tried um, the heartbreaker charger that wouldn't work and I thought the actual both the powers um, power cables were not 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 very good yeah um, but then I realized you need you have to use one of these adapters yeah you have to use one you especially can't, if you're UK based yeah, you're going to need you it you can't just swap to uh, you know just to a standard sort of like UK USB one like this that, that will, doesn't work it will not work so you need to use, uh, you, you can use this with the, the adapter. Yeah. You can use that with the adapter. They both work. But you can't, you can't use that, all right? Yeah. So just, just bear that in mind. Right, so there, plug in. I don't need to go through my wall. Oh, that's power, kid. Okay, let me have a little look. Okay, so it plugs in just nicely there. As you say, the, uh, the button to um, the right, if you're looking. Yeah, straight on. Yep. There you go. We're probably going to turn some of that. Turn the uh, light off of the wall. Yeah. These these lights are, uh, it's, it's quite light in here, so you won't be able to see this very well, but the uh, the blue lights, uh, sort of blue purpley lights are a bit dim on this. They are a bit um, dull on this, I've got to say, a little bit dull. I think, I think maybe because it's blue, is it? Do you think maybe, that's what it is? Maybe. But uh, as I say, if you have it in the dark, you're going to be laughing because it's yeah. it's got like actually it's, it's got a purple tint to it. Sure. I think if, if you're doing this at night, I mean in the daytime, you're not going to be putting the light features on. Yeah. But if in the in the evening, I, I think it'll look okay. It does look all right. Mm. But it, it's definitely not um, blinding. 
well, it's quite been, a subtle light, so I mean, it's probably a mood light more than anything else. You I, mean, get... I guess what we've got to compare it to is we, we've got the Heartbreaker. Okay. Um, the Heartbreaker lights are really bright, um, like very, very bright. So, um, I think, yeah, I mean, that's maybe one, one of the... This is the Heartbreaker, what do you mean? Sorry, the Hulkbuster, sorry. Yeah, the Hulkbuster. The yeah, Hulkbuster. That's a white light, isn't it? That's not... No, they, they've, got, they've got blue, blue gels on, yeah, the, on the back. Yeah. Um, so basically, I mean, uh, I guess that would be one of the critiques is the, yeah. um, the lights are a bit dull. Uh, I guess if I have to say a few, if, if we have to be negative about it. Well, you have to, have um, to be honest. Yeah, you've got to be honest. Exactly uh, what, what it is you see. I, say what you see. Say what I'm you see. I'm not a fan of um, the nameplate. Um, I think it looks it looks all right, but it just feels a bit a bit, fl a bit flimsy. But then uh, I'm not a fan of how it connects. I think it should have um, probably a magnet in here or mm -hmm. um, somehow peg in because yeah. um, it's just, it's not, I mean, it will stay there if you, if you keep it there, but... If you say that, if you put it in, yeah, it's, that's not coming out, but it definitely, you can, that can happen if you catch it. Yeah, well done. Yeah, well, you have to demo these things. If you, if you, you can, if you... Yeah, but you could have chipped to do that. No, it's all right, it's all fine. Um, all right, so... Um, and then, I, think, I think, to be honest with you, I think you have to turn around and say that the, um, it depends on what you're going for with the lighting. I think if you, if you want to bring your lady into your room and get lucky, I think this is a perfect light. <laughs> if you want to look for your keys, probably not advisable to search with mm. using these. Also, I mean, um, again, just, just uh, picking out these other things. I mean, because we've got the um, uh, the 39 with us as well. Yeah. I think the paint job on the 39 is a lot better. Um, I think the paint job is good, but I just do, I do see a little bit. There are a few little... Um, into the lines. A little little lines that just, just overlap a touch. Um, so they, they could be a bit better. Um, but overall, I mean, as it's a piece... Hard though, it's hard though as well, man, because you've got to remember it is a sample. It's an yeah. artist proof. Yeah, yeah. So it's not, you know, it, hopefully a couple of these things will be neatened up during the production process. Because yeah, yeah. this is what goes and they go, yeah, this is great. You yeah, know, we like this and blah, yeah. blah, blah. So uh, as I say, I mean, uh, no, overall is a very good piece. And uh, I'll be displaying this with my Mark VI. Um, Jamie, goes oh, back Jamie, here. So yeah, I'll be just playing this on Mark 6 and hopefully they're both going to uh, Cube together. Good luck with that. Probably not. <laughs> no, I think it will actually. It's, yeah. I mean, we should really get the measuring tape over here. Let's have a little look. And grab the beer as well while you're at it. Get me that dead crow, bitch. Okay, so scale, comparison. There you go. So you can see roughly there. I mean, it isn't dead level, but that's because the lazy Susan actually hey. does. Hey, guy, I can change, I can change. It actually uh, is about that big, so it takes up all of the Lazy Susan size, so it's really, it's really uh, quite impressive size, got to say. So, let's get into, what should we go by inches or centimetres, sir? Let's go both. Might take Help if I turn the tape the right way around. That, that was <laughs> schoolboy, yeah. Okay, so in my opinion, we're about 16 and a half inches of clearance. Okay. And then depth-wise to the back of the base to the front, you're talking around, I would say safely, you're going to need around 12 inches in diameter all the way across, at least 12, 12 and a half 12 inches. Wide, 12 wide, 12 deep. Yeah, all the way across, <coughs> in all every right. direction. I mean, what we'll do so is... So we'll fit in a deep top. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll film a bit later on, but we'll take it on to the end. We'll film the um, comparison with the, the 39. Star boost. But uh, what we'll do is we'll end, end that one there. And, uh, you yeah. know... Yeah, much love, peeps. Uh, thanks for uh, sticking with us and watching our stuff. You know, we've... We've had a really good year this year and uh, we wouldn't be where we are without you. So much Thank love. You. Comment below, like, subscribe, share. Check out radtitan.com, man. I'm going to start putting some more uh, some, some more Geo Man crap on there. So, uh, you know, I'll put my spin on things. Alex had a lot of dominating parts on there. So I'm going to start throwing some, some cats among the pigeons up in that bitch. Yep. But much love, man. Be lucky. Fans of where we do this. Peace. Bye-bye. Okay, just going to finish up there. So basically you've got the uh, 17 on the left and the 39 on the right. And uh, what we've got there is, uh, you know, you can see the Heartbreak is um, a bigger piece. Um, I'd say overall, I mean, it depends what you're going for really. I mean, I, I do prefer the uh, Star Booster. Yeah, I, I like think that. It's, um, I think it's a better paint job, but I do think it's a better design. Um, it looks crazy. But I do think the Heartbreak is more... Iconic. More what I know for Iron Man, so that's yeah, but it's iconic, iconic, isn't it? It's got it yeah. definitely. You, you know, people walk in and go, "Shit, what happened to your Iron Man now?" Yeah, well, what is that from my robot? Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but no, I mean, um, I did not murder him. <laughs> but as I say, I mean, um, I got the uh, breakdown from a few people telling me all the stories of Iron Man and which one does what, and yeah, yeah, 
I don't remember. Well, they are. They're, they're both from Iron Man 3. They are the Iron Legion. So, um, you know, we have all the different numbers. So the 17, the 39. The 39 is actually for um, Tony Stark when he managed to go into actually into space. Yeah. So that's what that suit's for. That's why it's the Star Boost. But I've got to be honest, man. I, uh, I, prefer, I prefer the white myself. Hmm. I do like the white myself a bit more. All right. Well, so that was just a little quick uh, on-screen comparison just so you can see what they're like. Yeah. And tell um, us what you fancy or tell us what you like more. All right, guys. This is how I'm, I'm going to display it if they both go in at your best together. Uh, they'll go. Around. I'm not sure if they will, but hopefully they will. Um, and yeah, that's, that's basically how I'm going to have them. I'm going to have them like that. Yeah. That's, that's what that's, I'm going to do. That's different gravy, that is. Huh? That's so, different um, gravy. That's going to be my display. Check out more at redtitan.com.